Hi everyone. So in this video, I shall be sharing my Salesforce internship experience. I am a student in RV College of Engineering. It is in Bengaluru. So we had an on-campus internship. The internship test could only be given by candidates who have a CGPA more than seven. First, there was a filtering done here only. Then the, we were given a test link 10 minutes before the test. The test was at uh, 9 p.m. on 25th September. It was online mode only and a HackerRank platform was used. We had to give a webcam service, the access, sorry. And there were three coding questions, only coding questions, nothing else. And the total time was 75 minutes. And before going further, how was my experience? What did I feel? I think I did pretty well only. All the test cases passed and all the solutions that I submitted were correct only. But if they do further testing on a stronger test cases, I don't know, maybe in the one question I might have done a half solve. I'm not sure of that. But I will now just give you, uh, I mean, I will tell you now the three coding questions. So, as I said, there were three coding questions. Total time was 75 minutes. And uh, before that, we had to give our additional details like personal email and contact number. And also, we had to upload our resume. So, you should keep your resume with you. This was actually not told to us before. We got to know on the spot only. So, just always keep a resume with you. And most of you will anyway have it, so it's not a big deal. So the coding questions now, let us come to the coding questions. First one was a rotten oranges problem, standard problem. Minimum time required to rot all oranges or say my, it cannot rot at all. All of the oranges cannot rot. So I'll show you that question. It is in GFG. I had already practiced it. It was very easy. I had to just type out the same thing. Minimum time required to rot all oranges. So basically, it, there is a matrix, okay? And values are 0, 1, 2. 0 means empty cell. 1 means fresh orange. 2 means rotten orange. Every minute, whenever a cell having fresh oranges is adjacent to a cell having rotten oranges, that cell will become a rotten orange. We have to find the minimum time required for all the oranges to rot or we should say that it will never happen. Never happen means it is impossible to rot every orange. We can see that it is impossible to rot every orange if there is a fresh orange cell that has only adjacent cells zero in the end. So you can analyze that by yourself. So the standard brute force solution also worked. It was passing all the test cases and I'll attach the link in the description for this. This was the first question and I typed the same thing, almost the same thing. I had already practiced it. We just have to check if we are going on a correct cell and uh, keep performing all these. You, it'll feel it's a very lengthy question, but actually it's not. Just type one thing, copy paste the others and make few modifications. So that's all it was, nothing great. And all questions were uh, function based. We just had to return the value. No need to accept any input or anything like that. Same like hacker rank. If you have already done hacker rank, you'll know it. Nothing extra special. Second question was, uh, I don't know what to say. It was like an implementation kind of problem only. Actually, the problem was like this. You're given an array of integers. We have to count a number of triplets such that a of i less than a of j less than a of k or a of i greater than a of j greater than a of k and i less than j less than k. And we have to find all such triplets. and in this question, 
one element can belong to multiple triplets one element can be a part of multiple triplets so we had to find the count of all this also as i said uh, could implement it and all the test cases passed successfully so this was actually this i solved first then i went to rotten oranges i typed the code brute force only worked so now going on to third question third question it was based on finding common divisors doing some summation kind of thing i shall i am not able to uh, find any kind of question on the net like that otherwise i had given a reference basically we are given an array okay and they have said q is equal to sum of array that is sum of all elements of array okay so q is equal to sum of a a is the array q is sum of all elements of array now we have to find summation summation of what we have to find summation of common divisors of numbers from 1 to q with i to q i don't think you understood properly what i'm saying basically there is a function f of i comma j okay now j can take value j can take value from i to q and i can take value from 1 to q j can take value from i to q 1 can take value from sorry i can take value from 1 to q we have to find sum of common divisors of all such uh, pairs i j so let us take an example i hope you try, i hope i could make some sense out of this you can pause the video and uh, just see this so the example i'll be telling you what to do suppose we are given an array 1 2 2 okay sum of this array is 5 so q is equal to 5 now what we have to do we have to run a loop we have to suppose this is i okay forget loop and all this is i i is going from 1 to 5 and j is going from i to 5 j is going from what j is going from i to 5 one is going i is going from 1 to 5 we have to find common divisors and sum it common divisor of what common divisor of common divisor of i comma j so it will become 1 1 1 so on 1 5 so find a common divisor of all, all these okay then it become 2 2 2 2 j starts with i it won't be 2 1 it will be 2 2 2 3 like that Three, 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 four, 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 five, like that it will go on continuing we have to find this total sum over here to find the factors to i had already stored it and uh, over here the sieve method came in handy i have already made a video on sieve method you can check that also i will put it in the description so i could store all the factors and uh, i had to just uh, use the already stored array to find the summation so basically i did something with gcd and sieve method and ultimately it passed all the test cases so i found the gcd of i comma j and found all the divisors of the gcd common divisors i found the highest common divisor and then found 
out all the uh, divisors of this thing gcd that will give me sum of all divisors i could find that sum because i had already stored it in array and you can uh, refer to sieve method i have made a video and i put it i'll put it in the description that will take actually n log n time so if they test this problem with harder constraints i don't think it will completely pass i am not sure but i could not think of any better solution so please tell me in the comments if you think of any better solution let everybody know and also me so that's all for watching i mean thanks for watching that's all for this video and uh, this was my internship experience in uh, salesforce it was pretty good only today there is a company called rcgm which is visiting 6 o'clock there is a test for that after that i'll make a video on that also today is lunch time also i don't think i'll be giving code chef lunch time because it might clash with my internship test okay so that's all for this video thank you for watching please share the video with your friends whoever is giving internship whoever will give internship in the future with your juniors or whoever has already given but maybe you just wanted to watch it to get an idea of the coding questions that's all okay thank you bye